so this is our 21st lecture we are going to start with this lecture yesterday we discussed the basis of traditional society and the basis for western society just i want uh, i revise with one sentence the basis for traditional society is the religion traditional society is based on religion getting the point and European society, modern society, secular society, one name. Different name, but the same thing. Secular society is based on secular scholars, philosophers, thinkers, thoughts. Secular thoughts. Secular society is based on secular thinkers, philosophers, and scholars' thoughts. The very interesting thing is that very interesting thing is that the traditional society was natural society. The traditional society was natural, not artificial. Because Traditional society was based on revolution, was based on uh, religion. And religion is very close to the nature. Like Islamic society is based on Quran and Sunnah. That is very close to the nature. Agar koi beta Islamic society se mu mohta hai, uska nukhtaan hota hai. अपना अपनी रिकग्नाइजेशन खत्म कर देता है यू रिमेंबर हम लोग पीरियडली इन पाकिस्तान समाइम वी इग्नोर इस्लामिक वी इग्नोर मॉरल वैल्यूज ऑफ इस्लाम एज अ रिजल्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन एग्जाम्पल The evils are very common in Pakistan. There, apparently, you see. The reason is that we are no, not, uh, we are not uh, uh, practical. We are not practicing Islamic teaching. Islamic teachings are not in practice in Pakistan society. If all criminals are uh, executed if all criminals are punished according to sunnah then you will find no crime in pakistan if all poor are rewarded zakat zakat everything in, in, in accurate way without corruption then nobody will be poor in pakistan so islamic society is based on quran and sunnah that is because quran and sunnah according to the nature now our question which one i am going to discuss how modern society how secular society emerged in europe that is the question when religion is according to nature then why does Modern society, secular society, merge in Europe. That's it. Definitely, Europe may Christianity common. Hai. Religion to hai wo bhi already. Usme man maniye ki hui hai, unko change kiya hua hai, apni side ke mutabik change kiya hua hai. Reason kya hai? Why modern society emerged in europe reason europe may be the answer is that 
in the beginning, before 16th century, before 17th century, the traditional society in Europe was based on Christianity. Was based on Christianity. Definitely, Christian society, traditional Christian society in Europe, deviated from religion. They changed the religion according to their wishes. Even Catholic and Protestant, their leaders, their scholars, changed the Christianity according to their wishes. As a result, we find a continuous wars in Europe among religious persons among religious states in Europe. Bloody wars we find in Europe. First one we find bloody religious wars in Europe within Catholics. Later on we find bloody wars within Protestants. Catholic and Protestants both failed. Catholic failed due to moral corruption. Catholic faith due to moral corruption in within the Catholics. As already we have discussed. And protestants the work for the welfare of the society, but they fail due to intolerant behavior of them followers. They were intolerant among themselves. As a result, both school of thought, Catholic school of thought and Protestant school of thought in Christianity failed within 16th century. The failure of Christianity in Europe raise the questions that religious fail to religious religions take to satisfy the society religion fail to fulfill to achieve the main goals of the society, definitely. Sir, today we think that in the Imran Khan government, we have uncertainty, we have to say what we do. The government will fail to achieve the basic goals of the world. They will not get the basic needs. They will not get the basic needs. In a similar time in Europe, Catholic and Protestant faith to achieve the basic goals of the world. In a similar time in Europe, the religion failed. Christian, Christianity religion, Islam can never be failed. But Pakistan government failed to Islam failed to work. Islam is now being invited to them. And now, the form of this painful condition is not going to be out. But our government, our politicians are not, they are secular minds. They are not true Muslims. If they are true Muslims, then you can see the example of the Yuvan Kutan, Turkey. So, the, here the word is very, the bloody religious words within Catholics and Protestants led to the emergence of secular system. This secular system Ignored in the secular system, totally neglected the religion. Totally neglected the religion to provide the base for social organization. To provide the social organization. Now, secular society emerged after. The dominance of aristocrats. 
Now, in secular society, it was very necessary to find some alternative of religion. Definitely. When religion failed, it was alternative to the class of people. Now, here, they work for the search for the alternate, uh, alternative to the religion, which must be used, which, which should be useful to satisfy the society goals, all kind of society goals, all individuals' social goals. Now here, come on here, please. As you know that society is the is composed is composed of society is composed of individuals with different religions and in reconcilable conflicts. Now we are going back to two shirts in again. Okay. Okay. First of all, society is composed of religion of the individual persons in the society. Society better logo se banti. Now the first. European political thought. European, the first thought is European political thought. Emphasize that human goals are diverse. Human goals are diverse. One person wants to be doctor, second person wants to be engineer, third person wants to be trader, fourth person wants to be teacher. Each person have as different goals to achieve their goals to achieve their goal they need freedom they need freedom okay now the first question is finished before this statement how secular thought how secular society emerged in europe the second question, which one start from here, from European political thoughts. From European. From European political thoughts. Okay, this question is, how pursuit of wealth emerged in European thought? A uh, pursuit of wealth emerged in secular society. This was the question. Listen, please, again. How does pursuit of wealth emerge in secular society? European political thought emphasized that human goals are diverse. Human goals are diverse. Now, they need freedom to choose, to find their goals, to achieve their goals. And here, wealth, they consider that wealth is the essential component of freedom. If you have the wealth, you are more independent. If you have no wealth, then you are less independent. Less independent. So wealth was considered, they consider the wealth as an essential component of freedom. freedom. So, if you are free in your society, you will be more, you will have more freedom if you are wealthy. You are, you have less freedom 
if you have less wealth. So wealth, hello, all individuals to work as they desire. Wealth, hello, all individuals to work whatever they desire. So the pursuit of wealth, finally, the pursuit of wealth became a social goal. Again, in secular society, all individuals, all individuals have different goals. To achieve their goals, they need freedom. Wealth has much importance to achieve uh, in, with respect to freedom. So wealthy people, so wealth allow all individuals to achieve their goals. So in this way, pursuit of wealth emerged. And in this way, the pursuit of wealth emerged in the secular society. The secular society, the secular society was convinced by the secular thinkers. Pursuit of wealth is much important to be successful in achieving their goals. Thus, in the secular society, pursuit of wealth became a social goal. And pursuit of wealth was a source of obtaining maximum freedom in the secular society. Finally, the pursuit of wealth became a social goal. Because people learned that if they are wealthy, they can achieve their goals. In this way, pursuit of wealth emerged in the secular society. Okay. So in this way, the pursuit of wealth was the only way to obtain maximum freedom in the society. Now combine the both. Maximum freedom, maximum freedom enables, maximum freedom enables the secular person, the person in the secular society to achieve their goals, to achieve their goals. That is the maximum profit, maximum revenue, maximum welfare of the government, maximum utility. Okay. Now, the, these scholars, one, uh, one group of scholars, one uh, of them is the medieval famous statement. Medieval time period is a group of uh, uh, European secular uh, thinkers. These European secular thinkers are called medieval European thinkers. Medieval famous quotation is over here. Fable of the bees. Fable of the bees means selfishness of the bees to achieve their goals of maximum, uh, maximum, uh, I would say, maximum production. And uh, bees ki maximum production kya beta zyada se zyada shahad. Wo kehte hain ki bee shahad ki makki. Hame ye batati hai ki maximum production, ki production kab stop hoti hai. Jab tak shahad ki makki ke andar greediness hoti hai. Greediness hoti hai, us wakar tak wo production karti rati hai. Jab wo greed give up kar deti hai aur Honest or Imandar over Garma Bad Gagi to Kabisha Hindi Bereka. This one is the very famous statement that is, uh, that is uh, described by the medieval time period. So, medieval scientists, social scientists, say that we should learn from bees who does not stop to work for production because. They are greedy. Although they describe that how production stops when bees decide to give up greed and become honest and virtuous. 
जब बीज ईमानदार बन जाएंगी वर्क नहीं करेंगे दैन प्रोडक्शन नहीं होगी इसलिए गोल्स को अचीव करने के लिए गोल्स को अचीव करने के लिए परसूट ऑफ वेल्थ बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अगर परसूट ऑफ वेल्थ नहीं होगी गोल्स कभी भी अचीव नहीं होंगे गेटिंग द पॉइंट नो दिस वन दिस वन इज अ वे टिल नाउ वी आर डिस्कस वी हैव डिस्कस हाउ परसूट ऑफ वेल्थ emerge in europe because pursuit of wealth is a way to maximize the to maximize the optimal to uh, get the optimal level of desire but uh, this is a flaw islamic society bahut different hai islamic society islamic point of view bahut different hai so islamic society hame different way mein treat karti hai so islamic islamic society mein islamic teaching hame batati hai इस्लाम कभी भी प्रोडक्शन से नहीं रोकता लेकिन इस्लाम लालच से रोकता है तमा से रोकता है करप्शन से रोकता है इस्लाम डज नॉट लाइक पॉवर्टी बट डज नॉट इग्नोर पोअर्स जिसे पास में करीब है कि जो पॉवर्टी है वो कहीं ऊपर तक न ले जाए लेकिन पॉवर्टी से बचने के लिए इस्लाम Islam upgrade the poor, uplift the poor. Islam कहता है ठीक है आप मक्खी की मिसाल देते हो कि शहद की मक्खी जो है वो प्रोडक्शन को स्टॉप नहीं करती इस्लाम भी कभी प्रोडक्शन को स्टार्ट स्टॉप करने का हुक्म नहीं देता इस्लाम भी यही कहता है कि वर्क करो वर्क करो वर्क क्यों जो ईमानदार ताजर हो वो क्यामत वाले दिन अल्लाह तला के अर्श के साय के नीचे होगा क्यों क्योंकि वो ईमानदार ट्रेडर होगा the such kind of trader who is generous who is the honest definitely he will produce maximum but not for his own maximum well being but also for the well being of the society he must pay much amount of money for the cause for the sadqat for khairat get in the point so islam does not stop production but islam does not like greediness that is a part of secular society so in this way pursuit of wealth emerged in europe first question how secular society emerged in europe second question how pursuit of wealth emerged in europe similar in the similar way adam smith argued that it is the selfishness of the member it is the selfishness of the worker it is the selfishness motive selfish motives of the worker of the society members that leave it bread on the table all members of the society work to deliver bread on the table they work for bread agar unke paas ye lalch nahi hoga selfishness nahi hoga kabhi unko food nahi milega lekin muslim different hai they trust on allah almighty they work not for bread they work because that is the part of islam वर्क करना हमारा काम है रिजल्ट देना अल्लाह ताला के साथ का काम गेटिंग द पॉइंट सो दीज आर द टू स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट वन इज द यूरोपियन पॉलिटिकल पॉइंट सेकंड वन इज द एडम स्मिथ स्टेटमेंट व्हिच शोस दैट हाउ डज सेकुल हाउ डज परसूट ऑफ वेल्थ इमर्ज इन यूरोप सो दस इन दिस वे परसूट ऑफ वेल्थ बिकेम सोशली एक्सेप्टेबल इन Western society. In this way, pursuit of wealth became socially acceptable in the social, in the secular society. And in this way, pursuit of wealth led to the radical changes in the uh, in the secular society. This pursuit of wealth. In this way, pursuit of wealth 
became acceptable in European society and it brought radical changes in the European society. Now we will see what we can do with this. Okay. We will discuss this thing in the next lecture. If you have any question, you can ask now. Now I am going to close our lecture. If you have any question, you can ask now. Okay with that?